Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through Introduction to Graphs. Now, as we all know, a line graph is a type of graph that displays data as a series of points connected by straight line segments. It is often used to visualize a trend in data over time intervals. Today, we will see some applications of line graph. Let's see an example. When Nina fell sick, her doctor maintained a record of her body temperature. First temperature was noted at 8 a.m. After that, temperature was measured at every two hours and recorded. Here, the data is given in tabular form. Plot a graph to illustrate this information. In a dir to represent this data graphically, we represent time on x-axis and temperature on the y-axis. Let us take the scale as one unit on x-axis represents two hours and one unit on y-axis represents one degree Fahrenheit. But here, the minimum temperature is 98 degree Fahrenheit. If we take the values on y-axis like this, it will waste the space on graph. To avoid, we used a jagged line along y-axis to indicate that we are not showing numbers between 0 and 98. Now, we can plot each point as per the given information. and then joining these points by line segments. We get a line graph, and the information provided by the graph is the time temperature graph. Let's see another example. The temperature forecast and actual temperature for each day of a week are given below. Draw a graph representing the given data. When we have to represent this data graphically, we take the days along x-axis and the temperature along y-axis. And the scale is taken by one unit on the x-axis, which represents one day, and one unit on the y-axis represents five degrees Celsius. First, we will mark the forecast temperatures and join the points using line segments. Then we can mark the actual temperatures and join the points using a dotted line. Hence the solid line represents the forecast temperature and the dotted line represents the actual temperature. Here also we get line graphs. It is used for comparing two sets of data. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. A car is going for a long journey of 16 hours, starting at 5 a.m. The speed of the car at different hours are given below. Draw a graph for the given data. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.